DJ Clark Kent, right? I want you to look at this interview he did some years ago about Tupac and get your opinion. Jay did a record going at Pac. But right as it was about to come out, son died. Wow. We performed it, though. Yeah? Where'd you perform it? We performed it once. And, he, and you have to understand, like, the chip on Jay's shoulder is so crazy that it's just like he had to perform it. We was at the Apollo. Wow. Yeah, we was at the Apollo, and he performed it, and it was scathing. Like, crowds was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, it was super hard. Wow. Super hard. Like, <laughs> if he was alive, there would have been no coming back. Like, nothing. It, it, like, going into, it, like, super ugly no, territory? It, no, no. This was so tough. Like, it, to me, it, it probably was, like, one of the hardest diss records I've ever heard. It's because we were like, what the fuck we got to do about this, with this shit? Why y'all, why you, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, boy. <laughs> When's the last time you heard it? We only heard it maybe, like, three or four times. We heard it before. When it was made, and then we heard it at the show, and then it went away. Wow! So but you don't actually like have a copy of it. Super tough, huh? You don't actually have a copy. I of don't. It. I didn't want a copy. <laughs> um, I wouldn't. <laughs> like I didn't want a copy because, nah, because I know I would have been compelled to figure out how to play. So that's the interview. He said that Jay Z he had a Tupac disc record. He performed it at the Apollo, but he never came out with it because Tupac died. How you feel about that? It, it just shows that um, he he really trying to put fuel on the fire because. If Jay Z did a diss record, which he probably did, you understand? Hey, Pop, that's what happened. You're gonna meet Nas did a diss record, but when Pop died, out of respect, he didn't release it. You know what I mean? Um, that's respect. That's what happened. And I'm sure Pop, if he was alive, he was expecting some type of records coming at him. That's how it works in hip hop. But for him to say I would figure a way to put it out, it just shows you that he didn't respect Jay Z. You know what I mean? And that he trying to put the fuel on the fire. That's why I say once again, these guys are like. They from like the suburbs or something. They don't really understand, you know, our culture. It seemed like, you know, he it just like, you know, because people that knows what could happen, like Jay Z. I'm sure the reason why he didn't put it out because he knew it was gonna put fuel on the fire. You know, it's gonna make things worse because Jay Z really come from the inner cities. He really seen what happened. He was mature enough to not do it. You know, you gotta respect that. The same with Nas. But this guy Clark Kent, I guess he just want to be. I guess he probably wanted to be famous because of that. You know what I mean? Just some people weird, bro. <laughs> For the people out there that don't know, right, what was Tupac's issue with Jay-Z? I think Pac issue was with Jay-Z. He thought Jay-Z was dissing him. And he thought, um, I think Biggie did his song with Jay-Z where he said if Faith had twins, she would have had two Pacs or something like that. And it was on a Jay-Z album. Uh, so Pac really felt like, okay, like you, he, you allow him to come at me on your record, so... That's when he started going after him. And Pac, he seen some videos that Jay was in, right, that he didn't like. Oh, yeah, it was a video. They was playing, like, Monopoly or something. And he was like, there's a lot of West Coast money on the West Coast. We coming after that money. Like, you know, so Jay-Z was actually putting himself in the middle of the East Coast, West Coast beef with these songs and stuff like that. And um, it was fair play because if that's your home, if you biggie homie, you know what I mean? But out of respect, you know, I respect people like that that, they, like Pac, you know what I mean? When he met Nas, I know we mentioned this in another interview, he told Nas, I have records dissing you, but I'm going to remove them because that's a respectful thing. But unfortunately, he died and he wasn't able to do it. So for Jay-Z to show that respect, it, it shows a little bit about who he is because some, because I'm sure if he would have put out a diss record, he probably would have made a lot of money. He probably would have sold records. Nas did the same thing because real people that come from like the hood that know these things, they won't be thinking like a Clark Kent, you know what I mean? The guy sound like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I mean? It just it doesn't sound like he's he's in, in touch with reality. Why put it out? You know what I mean? Pac is dead. Why put it out anyway? It won't make any sense. Right, right. And he made another comment saying that if that record would have came out, it would have never been no comeback for Chupa. Yeah, of course he got to say that. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, like, um, I think, um, you know, that's how hip hop was back in the day. You diss, uh, you know, one person diss one person, he come out with another record, he come out. It just got ugly in our time. In the 90s, it got ugly because now we got to the point where, you know, it started violence starting to get involved in it. And now it's even worse, if I'm not mistaken. 
You you know what I mean? So by them doing records, you it's almost like you have to. You have no other choice. Nobody would have respected them if they would have not done any records back, you know? But um, I'm glad they didn't put it out. That just shows they, they have respect. In a video you was talking about, yo, where Tupac felt like Jay-Z, he was taking shots at him, dead presidents. Yes, yes. <laughs> true, true. So Tupac, he actually seen that video then? Yeah, Pac used to pay attention to everything. Like, when he came out of jail, everything that was coming out of um, East Coast, every record, he was paying attention. Because Pac, originally from New York, so he knows subliminal messages. A lot of New York rappers do the subliminal disses. So that's how he was catching on. It's like, yeah, maybe sometime he was paranoid. <laughs> you know, so maybe sometime he, because he started going after everybody. So sometime maybe he just thought when it really wasn't, you know what I mean? Like Nas said, I re Nas said, like, I really wasn't dissing you. And, and Pop believed him. At the end, Pop, when he told us, he said, I believe him. And that's why I'm going to remove the songs dissing him.